Newcastle awarded a penalty in the first half against Burton. This is what happened. That's Matt Ritchie. Scores. No problem whatsoever. Scores. Newcastle take the lead by a goal to nil. The referee is Keith Stroud. But what does the referee do? The referee has ruled out the goal. And we'll see that he is going to give um, an indirect free kick to Burton Albion. And you'll see in a second, look, let's see where he gives the indirect free kick. So it's over here. Now, I, I, it's impossible to understand what's happened here. Because if there's been any encroachment, the, law of the laws of the game says the penalty should be retaken. Unless the penalty is missed, in which case the laws of the game say it should be an indirect free kick to the opposition. And I can only think that Keith Stroud has made a real muddle of it in his own head, but he's an experienced official. That cannot be the case. But there can be no other conceivable answer. None at all. <laughs> Rafa Benitez is bewildered by... I mean, you know, you guys have just seen it. What he, he, got also, he also went over to the official on the on the touchline before the free kick was given as well. So he spent another minute and a half chatting to the to the linesman on that side. So uh, it's surely between that that can't he can't have given it for encroachment because surely between all the officials, there, some, one of them well, would have gone. Even if he's given it for encroachment, it's the wrong well, decision yeah, that's because what it would have to be retaken. That's what I'm saying. One of them must have gone. Hang on a minute. I know this rule or this law. It, it's got to be retaken. Well, I think they've ended up in the game of Cluedo it's, here. I, 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 I think, I think it's the penalty very harsh, Jeff. And he's maybe had somebody in his ear telling him that you've made the wrong... So he's trying to get himself out of a hole and he's gone and give a ridiculous free kick. Referee's decision is final. He's Absolutely. given the penalty. Players I, I totally agree, Jeff. I totally agree, but see I the thought angle. I heard somebody Players say that. It wasn't the penalty. Seeing the angle of that, we can't see the angle from the left side. But it looks as if somebody like Gale has encroached and he's kept down. <laughs> Honestly, it does. If we, we'll see the angle, obviously, as the days go by. But coming out, for him to get the free kick, it has to be an encroachment that comes in at that angle that he sees. And that, it doesn't get him away with it. He still makes a wrong decision on it. But if you see where the goals, celebrations, and Gail comes from that angle to celebrate the yeah, goal. May, it's still it, wrong. He, he may well be, but, you know, encroachment just means that it's taken again if the penalty kick is scored, so it's the wrong decision. And I, I take Tomo's point, he may feel that he's made a mistake, but surely, I mean, how far back can you go before you change your <laughs> Last mind? Last month, a couple you know, of months ago. Sh shall we wait until it gets to be 4 or 5 nil and then say, oh, well, let's go back. Actually, I'm not going to count that goal after all. <laughs> Look, let, let's find out. I know uh, Bryn Law, I'm sure, has been talking to people at half-time. Bryn, have you got a clear explanation of what happens? Come on. Well, this, the bottom line is, no, I haven't, but I have got another theory, if you like. There are plenty of them doing in the rounds but the theory is the suggestion coming from the tunnel just at the moment is that there was a foul in the build-up to the penalty kick being taken and that the Burton player appeals the linesman potentially spotted the appeal and then the free kick is awarded what well, that doesn't really explain to me I've seen a still of the of the action and the two players are far apart so that doesn't really explain the positioning of the free kick parallel with the penalty spot in the penalty box the other theory is not so good for the referee at all, and that is that he's got the uh, decision wrong, that he should have ordered a retake because the goal was scored from the penalty kick, and what he's actually done instead is awarded a, an indirect free kick to Burton because of the infringement from the penalty kick. Neither of those really fit for me, though. No, and I'll just tell you, Bryn, that, that, that we've looked at the footage. <laughs> there is no foul, no foul whatsoever. So the only theory we all have is that the referee has got it horribly, dreadfully, terribly, hopelessly, absolutely, utterly, incomprehensibly wrong. I think you got it wrong.